We're at ISTE 2012 and we're talking with Mark Schlichting, founder of Noodleworks. And Mark is going to share with us some uh, neat stuff from, uh, from his past, from living books. From my past and from my future. Yes. Um, we're totally excited because we're bringing living books back to the, onto the new platforms, including the Mac and the PC, but particularly we're bringing it onto the iOS system. Actually, our CEO was the former technology officer at Rotorbund when we started, and he went out and figured out a way to upgrade the technology and use it and bring it back in and get it to play, and then brought the team together. I got a call one day saying, we're getting the band back together, and it was like the Blues Brothers. We have the great team that we had of programmers and uh, musicians and artists that we had originally to come back and really update the living books into the new world. So I'm really excited to share with you some of what we got, and um, I think it rocks. Awesome. Let's take a look. It will be. So we have three stories that are coming out in early July. Aesop's, the tortoise and the hare. Is one of the stories. Mm -hmm. And we also are doing Arthur's Teacher Trouble by Mark Brown. Welcome to Living Books. Our Familiar interface. And I'm the hare. And this is the story of how I beat him in the race. It all began one day when the tortoise was lying Now what's exciting about this is look at the level of animation that's going on. This is something you don't see in most iOS products. This is all interruptible. It's not a movie. To find out what really happened, you'll have to hear the story. So here's some of what's fun about this. What's new about this. We'll keep it short for you, Scott. We now have, we've added a new layer that has dynamic navigation. So I can go anywhere in the story and get there just instantaneously. It has bookmarking so teachers and kids can come back to where you were last time. And now let's pick a page. The hare knew a garden where there was plenty to eat. Took a food break in the middle of the race, who's hungry. And in living books, most storybooks don't have highlighting text. Some do, some don't these days. But in living books, not only could you click here and have the whole story read, but every word, um, every page was recorded twice. Once as the story, and once as individual words. If you were an emerging reader, that's just how you would play with it. Three mm -hmm. to five year olds will click each word in sequence because they're mapping the word and the story, and they're telling themselves the story by building it. Whereas an eight year old comes in and plays it completely differently. They'll play it out of order. The wind blow up grandma's dash are the silliest idea they can come up with. So, but another interesting, you know, Living Books was packed. We had budgets that were between 500000 and a million dollars for some of our titles. So, every from the littlest thing in the corners to everything in here is interactive. And we had a... We had a great band of the Wild Mangoes. Asked us, could I do a song? So we're full of original music, full of art. But the most interesting thing about the new thing is now we've added languages. Ah, and we've always, we that. always ship living books in two languages, but now here's Japanese. <laughs> so now everything's in Japanese, um, but it's dynamic shifting. Where's French? So the tortoise and the hare is actually available in up to seven languages, Italian, German, French, UK, English. And listen to the UK English. The hare knew about a garden where there was plenty to eat. It's almost like a different product, you know. I want to have crumpets every time I hear it. And when you're in another language, oh, when you're in another language, um, go to Spanish. And I can interrupt, we have interrupt modes. Um, now, even the singing tomatoes, are in Spanish. So everything translates when the language translates. And we have them all localized by country. So from the beginning of the product, it's already in that language if we want it. Gosh, Mark, that's pretty awesome. When is, uh, so when will these become available? Uh, probably the first or second week of July. Okay, and, yeah. and how many titles are coming out then? We have three coming out um, in, in the first through July probably, and then we have three more by the end of the summer, uh, including my title, Harry in the Haunted House, because it has to be out before Halloween. 
So Good we hope point. to have six uh, in the market by Christmas time. And how are you pricing it? They're $4.99, okay. and that includes two languages. And and then um, you can actually go switch over. Mm -hmm. um, to find out what really happened. You can go over here and you can add more languages at a dollar ninety nine. More than the seven that are on board? Well no, they actually comes with just two languages oh, okay. when you buy it at four ninety nine. I see. And then for a dollar ninety nine you can add other languages here. Wow. And we also have a thirty page teacher's guide that was all set up for the schools. It's an activity guide for for teachers. And uh, so we feel pretty excited about that. We really want to support the teachers and the, we built a, a new set of settings inside here that allow us to change the teachers to allow the interface to change. So what's active and isn't active, we have a, like a patience mode. That means they have to wait for everything to play before the kids can do the next thing. So if you're working with an ADD child, that's the mode you want to be in. And we have, so we have a variety of settings or completely interruptible everything if you're just playing with word recognition. So it's designed for the teachers to be able to set just what they want. Awesome. Mark, thank you very much. Thank you, Scott. Wish you, wish you great success. Thank you. We're very excited about it, and I hope everybody gets a chance to see them.